It takes money, paperwork, and a lot of waiting in order to lawfully obtain a 22LR suppressor here in the United States. So I cringe when I see new suppressor owners carrying it in a way that invites breakage. If you break your rimfire suppressor and it can't be repaired, you're looking at a whole new paperwork package just to replace something you're lawfully allowed to own. That's another $200 tax stamp and months upon months of waiting. Avoiding undue risk to your rimfire suppressor is coming up next on Mostly 22LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22LR. Rimfire suppressors have become very popular in recent years thanks to a new revival for tactical pistols and rifles chambered in 22LR. This Apex suppressor from Innovative Arms is the most expensive thing that I put on my own weapons, and for good reason. There's a lot of paperwork that goes in, and a lot of time, and a lot of money. So I don't want this to break, capiche? Because if it does break, I'm looking at another $200 tax stamp and about another year of waiting after I submit the paperwork. So I carry this in a manner that cuts my risk. Let's go over those risks, shall we? Okay, here's the first one. As you can see, my rifle is in a case and it's well guarded. But if I were to drop this case on its nose for any reason, then the muzzle of this rifle is going to take the brunt of the inertia. And if the suppressor is attached, then the suppressor is going to take the brunt of all the inertia. So, my advice to you, detach the suppressor from the muzzle when you're in transit. Don't carry it in this case. Carry it in its own case like I do. That way, if you were to drop this, it's well guarded in its own case. Okay, now this is something that I used to be guilty of in the past, and I admit it. As you can see, my rifle is in its case, and it's in the truck. But if I can pull up to a friend's house, and we go to the back 40, and we're going to do some plinking, and I can go there directly, I've been tempted, and I sometimes have done this, I just simply pull the rifle right out of its case. And the problem here is that it can catch on pretty much anything. Oh, I hate doing that these days. So, as you can see here, everything looks good. Now, what can happen is that, obviously, if it catches on something or if you slip, the rifle can fall onto its muzzle and things can get hurt. And that's exactly what happened to this rifle. For those of you who are following it, this is the Midlife Crisis Rifle. And what happened was, I ended up breaking the very first thread on this rifle at one little point. Now, imagine what would have happened if the suppressor had been on board when I dropped this rifle onto its muzzle. This could have been disastrous. So, my advice to you, don't attach the suppressor to your muzzle when you're in transit. Here's another one. You're not yet hunting, but you're walking through the woods going from A to B, when suddenly the end of your barrel gets trapped between two branches. Or you're climbing into a tree stand when you suddenly drop your rifle. You hang around a rifle range long enough, you're going to hear these kind of horror stories. Believe me, you don't want a suppressor attached to your rifle when it hits the bed of the forest. My advice to you, detach the suppressor when it's in transit. Now, the second to last thing that you do when you get into this game stand is you attach the suppressor. The last thing you do is you load your rifle with ammunition. Now here's another risk that I used to be guilty of, and I admit it. As you can see, my rifle is in arrest, and it's safe. But Another shooter comes up and he asks me, hey, can I borrow your rest to sight in my rifle? This means that my rifle will go in transit. Remember what I said about going in transit. What you want to do is you want to take your suppressor off so that you don't break it. Now, what I've noticed here at the range when I uh, am shooting with my uh, guns and I, somebody wants to use my, my gear, I've noticed that if I get into a hurry, they get into a hurry as well. So when they move in to use the... Uh, the rest, they'll ask me something like, hey, can I borrow your rest? And I say, of course. Do you mind if I take my suppressor off so that I can make sure that it doesn't break? Murphy's Law will kick in if I do this wrong, and, you know, I'm out hundreds of dollars and, and months of waiting. And of course, oh, of course. And so when I'm ready to move the rifle, and they're ready to move in, I say, hey, man, you know, take your time. I'm in no hurry whatsoever. Now I can safely move my rifle. And if I break this one, yeah, I've broken a lot, but I can have this replaced tomorrow. It's that suppressor right there that I can't. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned not to place undue risk on a rimfire suppressor, because if it breaks, its replacement is going to cost you the same amount of money, the same amount of paperwork, and the same amount of waiting. You don't want to do that. Use common sense, folks. 
don't learn this lesson the hard way. I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.